guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana, and you know what? It is fall, autumn, whatever you want to call it. I think the best time of the year. Temperatures are starting to dwindle. Oh, I just, I'm so excited. And one of my favorite things about this time of year, the change in the colors of leaves. Now, listen, as the Nature Guy, I love everything about nature. Obviously, animals being the big part of that, but I love everything about these plants and these trees and so I want to talk real quickly about why the leaves change during the fall. Have you ever really thought about that? Because it's pretty fascinating. Now I'm sure most of you out there know from your school and your science class that plants they perform photosynthesis. Basically what that means is taking the energy of the sun or the sunlight and transforming that into food which it then uses obviously to grow. And well, what happens is all of that photosynthesis happens in these leaves and it produces a chemical called chlorophyll and chlorophyll is actually green in color which gives a typical summer leaf its green color. Now the cool thing is, is that normally there's other chemical compounds in these leaves that make the leaf yellow, red and what have you. But the chlorophyll is so much more powerful that it overtakes the other colors and so therefore the leaf looks green in the summer. Well during the fall, when the tree starts to shut down for winter, that chlorophyll dwindles and then that's when the yellows and the reds start coming out and that's why you can see the different colors in that. And that's why certain leaves may look a little bit different, like this one here has got some brown and some yellow. That's because there's a different level of chlorophyll than say maybe this leaf that's a little bit more green. So those varying colors de are dependent on the level of chlorophyll in the leaf at the time. How cool is that? Now not only does that happen at this time, when the chlorophyll production starts to cease and the photosynthesis starts to cease and it goes dormant for the winter, the tree is also developing a special cell on the edge of the branch here that severs the leaf from the tree. So basically what happens is these cells, they create a little bit of a barrier there that causes the leaf to essentially just fall off. And then what happens is those cells then create a little barrier to actually fix or, or, or uh, uh, give a little first aid to the branch where that leaf actually fell off from. So these trees are always in a state of change. It is just so cool to think about the science that goes behind autumn or fall. And by the way, trees like evergreens, the pine trees, they're in chlorophyll production photosynthesis year round, which is why they don't lose their needles in the fall like these leafy trees do every year. Pretty cool stuff. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Sioux, Montana.